Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is Easy Learn AI. Today, I want to introduce a model to you, the autoencoder. Autoencoders have a simple structure and can be used in many different areas. In this video, we will briefly cover the key concepts, learning algorithm, and applications of autoencoders. An autoencoder is an artificial neural network model that learns efficient representations of data. This model extracts important features from the data, compresses it, and then reconstructs it back to its original form. An autoencoder consists of two main parts. The first part is called the encoder. It takes the input data and compresses it into a smaller dimension. This compressed form is called the latent space or coding. The key point here is how well the model captures the important features of the data. The second part is called the decoder. The decoder tries to reconstruct the original data from the compressed representation. It doesn't perfectly restore the original data, but it aims to make it as close as possible. Autoencoders are trained using a self-supervised learning method. Self-supervised learning is a type of unsupervised learning. So far, we have mainly looked at training neural networks using supervised learning. For example, in a CNN that classifies dogs and cats, we provide labeled images where each image has a correct answer. The neural network learns the relationship between the features of the image and the correct label. In supervised learning, the neural network is trained to predict the correct output for a given input. However, in unsupervised learning, there are no labels. Instead, the model learns the underlying patterns and structures in the data on its own. Autoencoders also do not receive any labeled outputs. Instead, they learn by analyzing the characteristics and distribution of the data. The training process minimizes the difference between the original data and the reconstructed data. This is called reconstruction loss. By doing this, the autoencoder captures the most important features of the given data. Now you might be wondering, if an autoencoder just takes input and produces almost the same output, how does it extract important features from the data? The secret lies in dimension reduction that happens in the latent space. Dimension reduction means reducing the number of features in the data. This improves computational efficiency, reduces noise, and helps us understand the data better. For example, by removing unnecessary information and keeping only the important parts, we can improve the performance of the model. Think of it like summarizing a 200-page book into a three-page summary. The original book has a lot of information, but the summary only keeps the key points. Through this process, only the most important features remain. Not only that, but with this summary, we could also generate a new version of the book that is similar to the original in a different form. This is a good analogy for what autoencoders do. By learning to reconstruct the original data using a limited size latent space, Autoencoders naturally learn to capture the most essential features of the data. Now let's move on to an example to see how an autoencoder learns. To make calculations simpler, let's assume a very basic model. First, we set the initial values as follows. When we input data like this, the feedforward calculation follows these two steps. First, we compute this part, which results in this value. Then, we can determine the z value. Next, we substitute this z value into the next step. We apply the decoder weights here, and as we continue calculating, we can calculate x hat like this. With this, the feed forward computation is complete. Now, it's time to calculate the loss. The loss calculation for an autoencoder is very simple. We substitute the output value like this and arrange the input value like this. Now let's compare the input and output values. For the loss function, we will use a simple mean squared error. The loss value comes out to 0 0.16. Now let's update the weights using backpropagation. First, we will calculate the gradient of the decoder weights, 
because gradients are needed for weight updates in gradient descent. The derivative del L del W decoder can be expanded as follows. According to the MSE formula, del L del X hat changes like this. Then, based on the X hat formula, del X hat del W decoder changes like this. By substituting each value, we get the following result. Next, let's calculate the gradient of W encoder in the same way. The derivative del L del W encoder can be expanded like this. Again, according to the MSE formula, del L del X hat changes like this. Then, based on the del X hat del Z formula, we can expand the equation like this, and by simplifying it, we get this result. This part, according to this formula, can be expanded like this, and further simplified like this. By substituting the values, we can calculate the result as follows. Once we have computed the gradients for each weight, we can update the weights using gradient descent. If we set the learning rate to 0.01, .01, the new weights are updated as follows. By repeating this process many times, the latent space Z will form a compressed feature map that captures the key characteristics of the input data. Eventually, the autoencoder will be able to generate an output that is almost identical to the input. Finally, let's talk about the applications of autoencoders. Because autoencoders can reduce dimensions and generate data from the compressed latent space, they are used for learning important features, removing noise from images, and restoring data. Thanks to these characteristics, autoencoders are widely used for tasks like removing noise from scanned document images, denoising digital images or videos, and restoring color in black and white images. That brings us to the end of today's autoencoder introduction video. Autoencoders are simple yet highly useful models, so I hope you give them lots of love. Thank you for watching today's video, and I wish you great success in your research and learning journey. Thank you. Thank you.